Hey, 75 back with another sneaker review and is my all-time favorite Jordan, the Jordan 5 International Barcelona, which isn't my favorite Jordan of all time, but the 5 is my favorite silhouette. And equally along with the 1s and the 7s, um, but 5s were my first ever Jordan, so yeah, holds a special place there. Um, basically too, what is your first ever Jordan? What is your favorite Jordan and why? Let's get our sneaker freak on down in the comments. And while you're here, if you're new to the channel, I'm 75, this is a Hype 75 channel. I'm a Hype Beast Dad from Melbourne, Danny Nong North, Victoria, Australia. And hey, take a couple of seconds and subscribe. Button's just down there, just bang, just hit it, easy as that. And you'll see my videos all the time. If not, there'll be my face with some Supreme stickers sitting in the corner there somewhere. Just hit that. And most of all, let's get a discussion on in the comments about our favorite Jordan. Let's kick this review. Glad to bring you guys another review. Remember to get down in the comments below. Let's discuss what is your favorite Jordan? What was the first ever Jordan you copped? So yeah, get down in the comments and um, love to have a conversation with you guys over what is your favorite Jordan. That'd be absolutely awesome. Right, so here we have the box. So we've got the Air Jordan International logo on the top. On the back, gold jump man. On the front, we have A23. Your standard Jordan stuff in gold on the bottom there. And you will see the colorway there. And the tag, size tag, 270 AU is what I paid for these shoes. They were a must cop for me. Um, everywhere in the same day was copping the Paris joints. But I just walked in, got these, I was gonna cop them anyway, they were an easy cop, because everybody was after those Paris joints. So, pull those out. I really like the detailing on the paper there. We have a, um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but we have another Air Jordan International symbol. We have a red jump man with lines going to different countries. I'm assuming that's everywhere he went on the exhibition tour which is where these shoes come from, which he wore them in an exhibition match against the Spanish team in Barcelona. Barcelona, Hence the name, <laughs> hence the name, Jordan 5 Barcelona. So International Jordan Flight Barcelona. So I think this is a really cool little pack by Jordan, the International Pack and got some really nice shoes in there, except for those, oh, I don't know, those International Flight 3s. Quality on the painting. Yeah, oh, let me know what you think about those down in the comments, because I thought, look like somebody, had, I don't know, tried painting with a stick or a like, dustpan brush, yeah, or a broom or something. It, it was the, yeah, shocking quality on there. If I had those, I'd take them to a restore, get them stripped. Get them repainted, then they look fire. But anyway, let's get underway. Now, the color is Sail Racer Blue Cone Black. Cone being the orange color. So, let's have a look at this leather. We'll get into the quality of the leather first. Now, it does say synthetic slash leather, so I'm assuming this is proper leather and not fox leather. Look at that, it's beautiful and supple and tumbled. To me it feels like real, real leather. It's not coming apart like fox leather. So I've worn them a few times. It's creasing up nicely. Beautiful, beautiful off-white color that leather. Make sure you get some Crip Protect Force Shield. Your weapon of choice. Protect your shoes guys. You've got to protect your Jordans. 
especially when they're white. And the thing is, if you put crep protect on, you put full shield on, it'll be a lot easier to clean in the long run. Every, all the dirt just wipes off. Do it regularly. Kids always use protection. If your high beast dad said so. Right. And again, guys, what is your favorite Jordan? Let me know down in the comments. Love to discuss it with you. We can get a sneaker freak on in the comments. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button. And also, what was the first Jordan you ever copped? My first cop for a Jordan was Jordan 5. That's why I love them so much. Also, equally as much love for the 1s and the 7s. Those are all my favorite Jordans. And then probably runner up, I like the 10s. Not everybody's favorite, but yeah, I'm they're comfortable, they're good, good support, nice shoe. So yeah, put that down in the comments, make sure you subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell, it'll only take a couple of seconds and it'd be muchly appreciated. Right, let's flip them up. We've got the translucent Jordan herringbone design and we have a nice orange jump man. Look at that, just pops that bit of orange in there. The black and the clear looks absolutely fire. We have the Jordan imprinted in there or well, embossed on the sole and on the OG colorways like the fire reds you'll find that has Nike in there so you can tell if it's an OG maybe Nike in the future will release one with Nike on the, again on the sole but yeah we'll have to wait and see so there on the back you've got embroidered Jumpman in black and we turn around the other Jumpman on the tongue in blue and it's a 3M tongue so that really pops when you put that camera flash on it's really gonna pop and also we have actually I'll flip it up this way we have the classic Air Jordan detailing but you'll notice there's a difference it has an E again paying homage to the international um, series so it has Air with an E on it spell it out for you um, right, so we'll have a look at the lace locks here. You've got your Jordan lace locks in there, and I'll just get that to focus, pull that out. We also have detailing on the barrel, if I can get it to uh, focus. Hopefully that's going to focus for you guys. No, I don't think it's going to focus, focus. Should be able to see that. Well, it says flight, and also it has a jump man. Oh, now it's focused. Moved it, and also flight. Oh, we're having real trouble focusing this. There we go. Right behind my head, it should focus. Well, it says flight there. Hopefully, you guys are able to see that. That's detailing on the barrel. It's a really nice touch to have a little bit of detail on the barrel. Lace lock barrel. Right, I, I'm going to pull out this inner sole here so we can have a look at that. It's a little bit worn, I've been wearing these so might not be able to see the full thing. It says Air Jordan International, probably rubbed some letters off there. In, Internet Nil. It's because <laughs> I've been wearing them. Got, it's sort of an open cell foam, about 5mm thick, not the best quality. Every other detail on the shoe is absolutely exceptional quality on this. Um, I wish they had put a bit better inner sole in there because if you're new to Jordan 5s you'll know that they're pretty much there's no, no cushioning in them apart from the air unit in the back. So apart from the air unit there. There's absolutely no cushioning in Jordan 5s really. Um, it's just one of the things of the Jordan 5s. I wish they'd updated a bit and maybe put us in a bit of cushioning in there, Jordan brand, if you're listening. Be great. Um, now, you can the major, major detail on this is your side panel. And you'd be forgiven for thinking that it is a basketball, which is what I thought when first looked. But it is not. It is actually paying homage to Barcelona street art. And it is more like a stained glass window. It's a geometrical pattern of race of blue and orange. And you'll see there, you can see detailings of a D. 
and it's a bit of an end there. If you actually could look at the full design, you'd find that it not only has a jump man, but spells Jordan, and found that out by looking on the inside. Because it is repeated on the inside there. And now, there may be variants between each shoe. I'm not sure whether Jordan has cut it out on a big, big piece of material. And so you may get some individual variants, which would be really, really cool if that is the case um, in the Jordan 5s. I'll have to find a few more pairs and update you guys on that because I don't really know. So if you can, comment down below and hit that subscribe button for us. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a video and I'm gonna go to the on foot board um, guys. So yeah, um, yeah, let's make it a little bit more slow. So let's go.